A boy lit his homemade rocket. It spun unexpectedly in the air, then hurtled into a factory building. Panic surged through the boy. His father was inside. He sprinted over to check, and out came his father. Covered in suit, holding the rocket debris, he scolded the boy sharply before tossing the rocket into the trash. Back in his room, the boy found all his tools gone. He confronted his father, who pointed to the trash can outside in the pouring rain. The boy retrieved the rocket, for he dreamed of building one himself. The next day, the boy left home. His teammates drove to catch up, and after a three-hour hike, they reached an open field. They planted a flag, built a safety shelter, and made their first attempt. Confident at first, the rocket launched, but spun in the air and flew toward a passerby. Startled, he didn't he scold them. Instead, he suggested using heat-resistant steel, a rare and costly material, short on money. They hatched a plan. Dot the next day, they went to an abandoned railway, removed the rail, traded it for cash, and bought the heat-resistant steel. Dot back at the launch site, the boy fixed a match to the igniter, pulled the string. Dot as the countdown hit zero, the fuse burned this time. The rocket soared straight. Dot they de succeeded. Dot their feet caught the media essa, landing them in the newspaper. But then the police took them in, charging them with starting a fire with the rocket. Though released, they were banned from further experiments. Dot they returned to the launch site and burned down their safety shelter. Dot yet the boy didn't he give up. Dot late at night, he found a top student used formulas to calculate the lost rocket s location, and they found it. Dot they rushed the rocket head back to school. Dot facing skepticism, the boy walked to the chalkboard, did calculations, lived for the principal, who was finally convinced and gave his approval. Dot the exhibition arrived as planned. Dot his outstanding work drew much attention. Dot as winners were announced one by one, his name wasn't he called until the host announced the highest scientific honor. The names of the four boys. Dot he walked slowly to the stage and accepted the medal. Dot so what did you want to be in your childhood?